out here for a second. Let's just assume this is some sort of adversarial or foreign technology. Most of the more than 120 incidents over the past two decades are not from the U.S. military or other advanced U.S. government technology. It's right in front of me, it just disappears. Oh disappears, God, disappears. God. Like gone. They clear he's referring to this giant object as a, as a tic-tac, as he said it was shaped like one. Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins here. Let me tell you, things are going down and we've got the panel today. There's a lot of discussion on disclosure. Is it going to happen? What's it going to look like? There's some information that we've received from a credible source right here at Third Phase Moon saying that something might happen before Thanksgiving. Something on a massive, impressive scale. Uh, we're not making predictions here. We're just kind of putting the fillers out because the source that we're receiving this information comes out of Las Vegas. And what the source is telling us is that something is going to go down within a certain amount of time, but we could expect to see something that's going to be impressive, possibly, if not earlier, before Thanksgiving. And what we're going to see in this possible disclosure is maybe some kind of a advancement in technology a 20-year jump that we might see again we're not making any predictions we're just kind of getting the word out there's been underlying kind of chatter on the internet of something big that's going to go down but from the source that we're hearing is that there's some kind of communications that have took place and within a short amount of time something in the scale of this quote of an impressive event in a positive way too. It's not this false flag alien invasion. There's gonna be maybe some kind of presence, something huge in regards to disclosure, but in a positive manner. And that's why I've invited the whole panel, the team with us to go over uh, this insight, what disclosure might look like in the future, what you would wanna see disclosure look like when it comes public, if it does. So let's start it off, let's get to you know the panel members let me introduce them we got my brother brent cousins with me and then we got rich from goofon including michael from dark hour paranormal joining us and we've got historian aviation expert michael schratt with us and apollo asteria from apollo's odyssey including dr j from dr j radio live so buckle up everybody let's get to it and start it off hey brent what would you expect disclosure to look like? Do you think that this possible prediction by this source could be accurate? Yeah, it's where it all basically boils down to. I think really where everybody was looking at Congress and our government basically earlier this year thinking this was it. They're going to be dropping something major and they're going to actually solve the biggest riddle in the world. Are we alone? Now I'm looking at it more in the future and I'm thinking it's gonna be coming more so from the public, the people, and that's where that information's really gonna drop when it comes down to the leak of disclosure. It's gonna be the people, somebody with a smoking gun video proof or somebody that has the evidence maybe inside their room from a past, from a member that may have passed away in the past that was working inside these DOD dark government projects. and. Um, I'm thinking that's going to be happening soon. Let's hope this person that's been leaking uh, some of this information is going to really drop the goods. It sounds like it's credible. He's not trying to um, be sneaky about it, but he does need to be a little undercover about how he delivers the information just to protect his source. What's your thoughts, Rich? How's it going to look in the future? 
Well, you know, we've been down this road before, so this isn't the first time we've had somebody come out and say, oh, yeah, we've got evidence. Uh, it's going to change the future. It's going to change today. We're going to be 20 years advanced than where we should be. Heck, this time it sounds a little more serious than that, considering the source. I think it's going to be something medical, something that's going to be advancing, you know, maybe cure something that could uh, maybe be 20 years away from now. So hopefully it's something like that. But if it is something that's going to be groundbreaking and changing technology, maybe I'm all for it. And I think the, the general population would be, too. Yeah, Michael, what, what's your thoughts? What do you think a disclosure should look like? How should it be rolled out? And do you think it's possible that we might see something before Thanksgiving? Well, considering the source that this information comes from, it's certainly a possibility. Now, Rich has mentioned we've heard other promises before, and perhaps some of those were going to be in the way of manifestation, but perhaps we took a different path, so to speak, and that didn't really come to fruition. Uh, I personally believe, as time has gone on, that, again, as you guys are echoing, disclosure will come from the uh, uh, either the individual or some sort of public faction that is more rooted in privatized interest and you know when we're looking at this possible uh, event that may come before thanksgiving again because of the source we're really paying attention to what this might be and again you guys are bringing forward some really great ideas as to where information may come from and it seems clear to me that people who are out there having experience of being abducted or some sort of contact uh, be it through CE5 or some other means are not being given anything physical to bring back and satiate that left side mentality that we're all so very thirsty to uh, to satiate if you will so long story short yes I think that we will see something coming soon and I think maybe whatever technology we're going to be given in way of implication will of course have some sort of extraterrestrial peripheral to it but at the end of the day it's probably something that our military has been working with for so many years and just doesn't have a use for it and is now releasing it to the public to eventually and very slowly bring us up to speed to where they want us to be in way of information yeah, you never know, Michael. The thing is, is that, like you said, and Rich, we've heard these predictions before. That's why we're being really clear. We're not making any, you know, solid prediction. We're not saying it's going to happen. We're just saying we're getting information from a source that seems very credible. Uh, that's what we've got to say. Like Brent was saying as well, this guy that's come forward with this information is having to do things in a way to keep his identity still uh, absolutely you know undercover at the moment but he might come forward and so as other witnesses maybe in regards to this so apollo what do you think would would disclosure change the world are we ready for it and how would you think disclosure would be brought forward you know i think the future of disclosure and disclosure ramping up is absolutely inevitable with the changes that has happened over just this past year year and a half uh, you know, the mainstream media organizations are finally starting to release you know, and cover UFOs and cover the topic of disclosure. And, you know, whether there's a, a different agenda behind this besides them actually wanting to push disclosure, I'm not sure. But I feel that, you know, what is happening over this past year, especially in regards to uh, SpaceX, Elon, you know, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, they're all ramping up their commercial space fair. And I think we've had these technologies. Our government has had these technologies for probably, you know, four decades, maybe at this point, at least. And, you know, I, I think that there's a, a lot of these very advanced technologies they've had that are that could really put the human race so far beyond where we're at right now, just in the way our everyday society functions. I mean, if we have a plane that can go from LA to New York in an hour, or, you know, even 15 minutes, I've heard there's blueprints, they've already released blueprints that they can do this in 15 minutes with, uh, you know, a commercial space flight. I think once this all starts ramping up, I mean, they've had these technologies for a long time, but I think it's, you know, just the, the fact that, like, how are they gonna roll this out? This is gonna be, 
groundbreaking what's going to happen here and i i don't think people really think about the way that this will shift the perception of everyone on the planet when it comes to how we view the world if you can get on a plane and get from la to new york in 15 minutes or from new york to you know africa in an hour because of commercial space travel we will not be looking at the planet in the same way it's going to completely blow our perspective out of the water and it's going to be really incredible to see uh so i think it's, it's really inevitable that more is going to come out you know they and to me it's like why the secrecy in the first place why have we had this secrecy for so long you know i think that because of the work of the people in this uh community and the ufo community and you know people coming forward with their work over the past you know decades in this community I, I think uh, all this information has been so important. I think it's really a lot of what has pushed uh, disclosure to happen in the media over the past year or so. So I'm really interested to see where this goes in the future. And I, like I said, I feel it's inevitable that this is going to ramp up in the coming year. Yeah, could you imagine, you know, we live here in Hawaii, we do a lot of traveling. And one of the biggest discouragements of travel is by far the plane trip and how long it takes to get to one place you know if we could get to places around the world with 15 within 15 minutes you know that would give us you know proper life in our short amount of livelihood to enjoy the planet in different cultures because at this time and rate of speed it's pretty much impossible to explore the world and you know enjoy it as we should as in human uh, nature as we want to so let's take it out to Santa Barbara and take it out to aerospace military historian Michael Schratt. You know, what do you think disclosure would look like? And I know we had a discussion earlier about, you know, we got to be real skeptical on this kind of information about people making predictions. Well, I think, uh, you know, on one side, the field of ufology since 1947 has made some progress, but on the other side, I still think we're in a rut because the only way that this field is actually going to move forward is if we have the physical evidence. And the physical evidence tracked back to Leonard Stringfield. Uh, clearly, there's, there's really no one who got closer to the truth than Leonard Stringfield because he specifically dealt with firsthand engineers, pilots, cosmonauts, astronauts, people who worked on the crash retrievals, the people who put the saucers on the 18-wheeler tractor trailers, those that uh, were involved in the autopsies and retrieved the bodies, those are the caliber of people that Leonard Stringfield had dealt with. And unless and until we get those autopsy reports, those black and white glossy photographs, access to the underground vaults and the physical hardware, I believe that we're still gonna be spinning our wheels and that's just one possibility. But if we can get access to that material, then we might move forward. No, uh, interesting, Michael, because you, you know, you you follow this as a historian for so many years. We've been we've been stuck in this rocket technology for over a hundred years. Are, is our meta propulsion ever going to change? So it's interesting. You know, what do you think? It's been a hundred years now, and nothing. We, even Elon Musk is just making a fancy rocket. You don't you don't have to take my word for it. You can go back to Gordon Cooper. Uh, Gordon Cooper was very good friends with a man named Daryl Miklos. And uh, basically, Gordon Cooper told Daryl that we're 100 years behind where we should be, and uh, we don't need these liquid rockets. We have other systems, and he tried to release that through an organization called CAT, Center for Advanced Technology, and that was kind of a belated designer leak for EPCOT, which is Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow, and that's how they were rolling out these technologies, but in kind of a, a tangential way that lets people know what's going on behind the scenes without being too obvious. So he was definitely involved in the formation of Epcot. Interesting stuff there. Uh, appreciate the insight there, uh, Michael. Mm -hmm. Now let's take it out to Dr. J. Andy Elias. Do you think you've been in this industry for a long time? You've spoken to a lot of people behind the scenes, Dr. J. Do you think disclosure is right around the corner? Well, I can tell you a couple of things. First of all, disclosure has literally been talked about prior to me being born. So, I mean, empty promises forever. Now, I also can tell you that the Freedom of Information Act basically took everything out of 
military hands because the government would no longer have to actually answer to the public and put it in private corporations. So whether this involves private corporations or not may be what you guys are talking about. I'm also going to say what Michael Schratt said is 100% dead on. This is why my absolute favorite topic is crash and retrievals. We need the bodies, we need the craft, we need everything there, the autopsy results. This is what's going to make and break the case. Also, I don't know about what you guys are talking about in Thanksgiving. If this is ancillary to what I'm about to say, then so be it. Maybe the two things are happening because we know this is on multiple fronts. I can't tell you the details, unfortunately. I can tell you the friends in very, very high places, including in the previous White House, have told me that essentially this is as much as I could tell you right now. If everybody's looking left, Kentucky shuffle, look right. If you're thinking it's people or if you're thinking it's the United States, let me shatter that right now and say, look elsewhere. That's all I'm going to tell you. The final thing I'm going to say, you might get a revelation that, hey, they're not coming from somewhere else. They may be coming from right here on Earth. We're finding things melting more in Antarctica. We're seeing passageways that lead down there that seem to have extraterrestrial hieroglyphics, other technologies that won't even allow it to open the doors. Also, we see them as more ice melting, what looks to be possible craft. I don't know. That's even on top of what I'm talking about. So pay to think, attention to things on a more massive scale. That's all I could tell you so far. Wow. Uh, what an incredible uh, discussion. Again, I appreciate the whole team panel member for uh, joining us right here at Third Phase Moon, going over this kind of insight, this intel that we've been receiving over the past six months. Something might be building up this Thanksgiving. So uh, possibly buckle up for that. Again, thanks everybody for joining us from uh, the across the country. The panel members, Brett Cousins, Richard from Goofon, go check out their channel, Dark Hour Paranormal. He's got insight. They're uploading daily on YouTube. Michael Schratt's going to be keeping in touch with us. And don't forget to check out Apollo's Odysseys on YouTube. She's uh, doing good work over there, traveling across the country as well, meeting up with people. And don't forget Dr. J Radio Live, the, in the inside man behind the scenes with the information coming in. Everybody, be safe out there. Blake Cousins, we'll see you next time. Let's just go down the rabbit hole here for a second. Let's just assume this is some sort of adversarial or foreign technology. Most of the more than 120 incidents over the past two decades are not from the U.S. military or other advanced U.S. government technology. It's right in front of me, it just disappears. Oh, disappears, oh disappears, God. like gone. They clear he's referring to this giant object as a, as a Tic Tac, because he said it was shaped like one.